gay-themed movie premiere held in Tbilisi despite far-right protests. Homophobic groups shouted shame and hurled objects at moviegoers last Friday as they condemned the Swedish-Georgian and then we danced drama. The movie is about two Georgian male dancers who fall in love. And then we danced, as well as extreme reactions to it, sparked heated discussions among Georgians on social media for several days. What we have here is a hundred people watching a film in a cinema, a thousand observing how those hundred people watch it, and a million of us watching live how a thousand protesters watch a hundred movie watchers. What a happy nation, one Georgian remarked on Facebook on Friday. Hours before the screening, several Facebook pages run by far-right groups circulated a clip of a sex scene from the movie online to trigger bigger public outcry. Some questioned if it served their cause. They showed the gayest moments of the film to the whole nation online and now they won't let some watch the whole thing in a cinema. One PDC forum member ridiculed the far-right groups. On the night of the premiere, people were shocked to learn that activist Anna Subeliani was hit with some object thrown from the crowd at her. She wrote it was premeditated and police failed to prevent it even after she had warned about the danger. I'm sitting in an ambulance near Amirani cinema, close to some participants of the homophobic rally, while I also have to listen to a doctor lecturing me that this film is a provocation. My eye was spared only by sheer love. Some welcomed that the movie premiere was held but said it was still marred with violence. It's a tragedy when a moviegoer has to struggle and be brave to watch the film in a cinema. In time, people will stop following these fascist leaders, wrote journalist Ninja Kakabadze on Facebook. Worries over the ruling party's intention to reform the electoral system. Youth-led For Freedom movement started an online hashtag campaign, hashtag Argabedo Chakdeba, Don't You Dare Fail the Bill, after the ruling party indicated on Tuesday they were not ready to change the country's election code. Georgian Dream promised to move from mixed to party list election system after anti-government protests in June. The party list or fully proportional system is overwhelmingly favored by opposition groups as more progressive and democratic. We need to show our power and send a message to the ruling party that playing games with people will not be tolerated, said For Freedom in their rally announcement. The bill to ensure Georgia's next elections take place under the proportional system seems to be stalled at its first hearing as Georgian Dream MPs and others insult and attack each other. To many, this is an ill-disguised attempt to backtrack on the reform in the face of declining popular support. Levan Tsutskirite, chair of Eastern European Center for Multi-Party Democracy, wrote on Twitter.